Hello, Manny here with All-in-One Devices. And today, in this video, I'll be showing you how to downgrade the firmware of a Workforce 3720. If you like this video, please click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe. So you may wanna know why would I want to downgrade the firmware on my Epson 3720? And the reason is simply to use compatible or initial cartridges. Usually they cost a lot less the, than, the, uh, than the retail cartridges. So this will allow you to use them in case your firmware has been upgraded. So let's start off with what you need. Obviously you need an Epson 3720. You'll need a Windows computer and you'll need a USB cable connected to your printer and to your computer. With those things in place, let's start by putting the printer in update mode. So you'll notice there is a black area around the screen. You're gonna put your thumb in the upper right area, keep it there, and you're going to press and hold the power button. You're gonna do this until the power light comes on. As soon as the blue power light comes on, you're gonna let go. You should see update mode in white lettering on the screen. If it's in any other color except for white, it was done wrong, you'll need to unplug the printer and try again. There it is, blue light came on, I let go, and there it is, program update mode. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see it clear. There it is, program update mode in white lettering. And now we'll move over to what you need to do on the computer. All right, so go ahead and open up a browser. I'm using Chrome here. And there is a link in the description of this YouTube video. Go ahead and paste the link and go to it. And this is the screen that you should get. You're going to click on download, direct download. And don't forget, this computer has to be connected to the printer via USB. Let's close that out. All right, let's start this again. Download, direct download. Okay. And there it is. It's downloading. So as soon as this finishes downloading, we're going to open it up. Opening up here, and you should get, you'll probably get this message that Windows is protecting your PC. Click on more info and run anyway. And now click install. Okay, now you'll get this, uh, do you want to allow this app to make changes? Go ahead and click yes. And click next. I agree. Next. Next again. Now you should come to this screen. You should have a check in this box. Your connection type is USB. And like I mentioned, the printer must be connected using a USB cable to your Windows computer and the status is unknown. Go ahead and click on start. It's gonna ask you if you wanna proceed, say yes. And this will go, won't take very long. It'll go to 100%. And now that it's at 100%, that means it has transferred all the data to the printer, but the printer is still updating. You can click on finish here, 
that the printer won't be done yet. And I'll show you, let's click on finish. So here's the printer updating still, and you can tell because the blue light is flashing. So it's still in update mode and the blue light's flashing there. And this will go on for a bit until it says finished. There it is, all done. And so now you're gonna to touch the center of the screen and the printer will turn off. Now we're gonna turn it back on just normally and we're gonna leave it on whatever the screen comes on. This one is asking for the date to be set up. Yours will probably say something different, but just leave it on whatever screen it comes on. And we're going back onto the laptop now. All right, now back here, if you know where you downloaded your the file previously, you can just open it back up. If it's easier for you to download it again, just go ahead and download it again. So uh, I'm just gonna download it again. And we're gonna, we're gonna run this one more time with the printer in normal mode. So let's go ahead, downloading again. Like I said, if you know where it downloaded from and you know how to open it up, go ahead and do so. Uh, I'm just doing it the easier way. Some people um, don't know where their browser saves their files to. So it's just easier to download it one more time. All right, once it's done, go ahead and open it. You'll be greeted with this screen again same steps, all the same steps. Since I downloaded it before, it's gonna ask me if I want to replace everything. I'm gonna say yes to all. Okay. Same steps as before. Next, next, all the same steps. Now we get here. So on this step, let's refresh here. All right. I had to get past the setup screen that came up. Once I got past that screen on the printer, uh, it came up on here. So this is what you should have now. Checkbox, the model name, USB connection type, and status new version. Click on start. Yes. Now, I just want to show you on the screen, it is now saying updating firmware. Do not turn the power off. All right. And on this screen, it's going to go to about 75%. This time, it's not going to complete, and that is fine. So we're going to wait until this reboots itself, which it looks like it's just about to do. There it is. It just rebooted. And here it's saying waiting for the printer to restart. Once it confirms, waiting for the printer to restart, there it is, firmware version confirmed. 
Once it does that, even though I'm not at 100%, it is fine. We are going to press Control, Alt, and Delete. And go into the Task Manager. There it is. And we're going to close this out. Epson Firmware Updater. Click on that and click on End Task. And that's it. You're all done. The firmware on the printer has been downgraded and you can now use initial and compatible cartridges. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe. Thank you.